Hey bros, what's up? Today we're going to learn how to build a Node.js, MongoDB, and Angular 2 application using Docker Compose. Let's get started. So let's start by downloading Docker under computers. I have a Mac, so I went to docker.com. I went to the Get Docker uh, link and I clicked on Mac and I downloaded it. And a successful download, you'll see the little uh, Docker whale in your menu bar here. And it should say that Docker is running. So now let's dive into the actual project itself. Everything that's going to be in this project is in the Docker Compose tutorial folder. You will not see what's in this left sidebar here when you first create it. So let's actually create these items. So we're going to start by building our Angular service. And we're going to be doing that using the ng-new command, ng-new Angular app. And this just creates a blank Angular app for us with nothing in it. And I, I didn't hit enter because I already have it here. Uh, so that will create this Angular app folder in the left here. And it will be exactly like what you see here minus the Docker file. Uh, so in order for us to distribute this Angular application on a Nginx server, we need to first uh, build it. So we're going to be doing the ng build command. And this will just build a Angular application in a dist folder, which we see here. So right now the project is building. Okay, so it's successfully built. Uh, now we're gonna wanna go and build our node app service. And our node app service is going to be interfacing with Mongo, the Mongo database, and it's going to be acting as our backend for Angular application or Angular front end. So, in order to create our node app service, we're going to be using ex the Express CLI. So, Express uh, node app and hit enter. I'm not going to do it because it's already there. And this will just create a blank Express or blank node express application for us. So we click on that folder. And you're going to have everything here minus the Docker file. So let's get started in actually interfacing the Mongo database into our node app service. So we're going to want to start by actually downloading a package called Mongoose. So it would be npm install uh, mongoose save dev and we actually have to switch to our node app folder now we run that same command npm install mongoose save dev and the save dev flag here will save it to our packages.json file and if we look inside our package.json file, we see that Mongoose is in here for us. So now that we put Mongoose in there, uh, let's actually use it. So we're going to go into our routes folder here, and we're going to click on index.js. And by the way, what I'm showing you right now uh, is just a demonstration of connecting Mongo to our node backend. So we don't necessarily have to do what I'm doing right now. So start by importing the Mongoose package into your index.js file. Then in this file we're going to then connect to the Mongoose database. And in the case of uh, Docker, uh, we expose port 27017, which is the default Mongo database port. And I haven't created a database yet, but let's say hypothetically I did. Uh, it would be called my database. And it would be a Mongo database. And then we're going to find um, some model, and then we're going to pass it into the title of Express. So that is the index.js file. All right, so now we're actually going to uh, start dockerizing this application. And also keep in mind that we haven't even done anything with Mongo. We haven't even made a Mongo database, and that's one of the uh, beauties of using Docker is that we don't have to set up Mongo on our actual actual computer. So let's get started with Docker. So we're going to go into our Angular app folder here 
and we're going to create a Docker file. You guys won't, don't have a Docker file right now, so you're going to want to click New File, Make a Docker File. So let's click on the Docker file and let's inspect it. So I'm using an Nginx server to serve the Angular application, uh, a very popular server. You could also use Apache, but I prefer Nginx. Uh, this maintainer instruction is not required, but I like to use it. Uh, next is we're going to be specifying the volume for our Docker uh, compose command to, to look into. So basically what this does is it mounts our dist folder into Nginx's uh, HTML folder. And this is Nginx's default serve folder. It's where they it's where Nginx looks into to serve content. So we could also use copy. However, the disadvantage to using copy is that you have to build your your Docker project every single time you make an update to your code. Volume just puts that code into your running Docker container uh, and you just have to rerun that container. So you have to build a new container every time with copy and you just have to rerun the container every time you use volume. So that's the advantage to it. It saves a lot of development time. And then the last item of business is we just have to expose the default port 80 for the Nginx server. And one last thing, just specify the location of your um, application in here. And I notice a typo here. There you go. All right, so that's the Docker file for Angular application. Let's look into our Node application. It's a very similar setup. So for our Node application, um, we're going to be using a pre-existing node image and this node image uh, just has node installed on this uh, on this overall image that we're building so we don't have to uh, install a node ourselves so it makes things very flexible and easy again maintainer put your name there uh, we specify a work directory as slash source you could make it anything you want and then we copy all the contents and we could also use a volume command here uh, but I just chose to do copy and so what this means is that we're going to be copying the contents of the node application folder into the docker source folder next we're going to be running a npm install command and uh, keep in mind that these commands are executed on uh, they're, they're executed when the application itself is being built so not when the container is being ran so on build time we're going to want to have uh, the application install all of our packages such as uh, mongoose that we just discussed earlier. And now we're going to want to install Nodemon, which is used for running the actual Node server. And we're going to expose port 3000, and that's the default Node port. And then on runtime, we're going to be doing the npm start command. And if we look into our package.json, the npm start command just runs Node slash bin www. So that's our Docker file for our node application. So now we want to bring these two Docker files together and we want to have these containers communicate amongst themselves. And so we're going to be using something called Docker Compose. And Docker Compose's primary purpose is just that, uh, basically bridging several containers together, uh, making it so that you can start them all at once, you can stop them all at once, you can have them all communicate at once. That's uh, really a beautiful thing. So for that to work, you're gonna have to make a docker compose.yml file within your root folder, which is the docker compose tutorial folder. So right click, new file. And let's look into the docker compose.yml file. So in your YAML file here, we specify a version. I'm using version three, you could use version two. Now we have a services instruction. 
And notice that we have three services here. We have web, node, and Mongo. So we never set up our Mongo service on our local computer, so this is where it's being set up right here. So let's get started with web. So web looks into our Angular app folder here, and it inspects this Docker file here. And it basically builds this image into a container and it then builds this node image into a container using its uh, own Docker file. And again, we specify our ports here and we specify our ports here. But one thing that we want to do is we want to use this links instruction. And this links instruction basically makes it so that web has node available to it so that they can communicate. So a node can communicate right here with web. And because we used a volume in our Angular app Docker file right here, we're going to have to then tell our Docker compose.yaml file that we did that. So here's the command for that. Again, the node uh, container also links to Mongo. So we're going to have that linking here. And here's our linker, our Mongo. Um, container and Mongo the Mongo container uh, the Mongo instruction also takes just a uh, image but instead of linking it to instead of linking it to its own folder we just specify the um, Mongo image and you can find the Mongo image if you go to Docker Hub on the website and you can just find there's many different images available Mongo, Ubuntu, MySQL. And we just use the default Mongo port 27017. So once that's all done, we have one last thing that gets the whole Docker Compose machine started. And that command is we have to navigate to our root folder, and that is docker compose up and that will basically build the entire project if it hasn't been built before and then it will run it for us and then we'll be able to go to any of these uh, URLs so localhost 80 localhost 3000 localhost 27017 and we'll be able to look at all those different containers so that is the beauty of docker if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to Coderbro. Thank you very much.